to him. This this is efferent innervation, efferent innervation, that is efferent sympathetic and uh, parasympathetic. The same you need to know afferent innervation, that is sensory. And sensory innervation, uh, for example, from rectum, sensory fibers pass with plexus rectalis and goes to plexus pelvinus. And from plexus pelvinus, sensory fibers continues into uh, first direction that is together with nervous plancti sacralis and second together with nervous plancti pelvini and if sensory fibers pass with nervous plancti pelvini they goes to plexus sacralis. sacralis then continues into sacral spinal nerves mm -hmm. and where will first sensory neuron in spinal ganglion of sacral nerves it is first sensory neuron. And what is the second sensory neuron? For example, if you speak about pain, feeling of pain from rectum, which nucleus in spinal cord conduct feeling of pain? Uh, almost, almost. Proprio. Nucleus proprio. proprio, yes, you're right. <laughs> Second neuron in this case, nuclear property. But you're right that uh, substance gelatinosa, the same conduct sensory fibers, the same like nucleus gracilis and cuneatus in uh, medulla blangata. There is no specific nucleus for inner organs. And uh, sensory impulses conduct all of these sensory nuclei, nucleus proprius, substance gelatinosa, and fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus goes to nucleus gracilis and cuneatus. Clear it is? Then, if we speak about sensory fibers which pass with nervous plancti sacralis, they go to sympathetic trunk, and what next? Pass through rami inter ganglionaris, then pass with rami communicans Albi, albi, rami communicans albi, goes to upper lumbar nerves and first neuron in spinal ganglion of upper lumbar nerves because only heat is we have rami communicans That's albi. Okay. That is why rami communicans albi has not only preganglionic sympathetic fibers but also they have uh, sensory fibers which goes to spinal ganglion in posterior roots of the spinal nerves. Is it clear? That is, two ways of sensory innervation. One way through nervous plancti pelvini and sacral spinal nerves. Another way through nervous plancti sacralis, rami interganglionaris, rami communicans albi, and lumbar nerves. And in all cases, first neuron in spinal ganglion, second neuron nuclei propri or substantia gelatinosa or nucleus gracilis and cuneatus. Give me your manual, please. Manual. Mm -hmm. Look here. Here it is. You can see diagram. This diagram you need to draw next time. That is first neuron in spinal ganglion and from here axons goes to uh, sensory nuclei in posterior horn, they are nucleus gracilis and cuneatus, or through fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus goes to nucleus gracilis and cuneatus in medulla blangata. That is first moment. Now, if we speak about sensory innervation of liver or kidney, all another organs in abdominal cavity, from liver, Plexus hepaticus goes to plexus celiacus. And from celiac plexus, we have first way through nervus splanchnicus, maer, minor, imus, and lumbalis, goes to sympathetic trunk, pass with rami communicans albi, and first sensory neuron in spinal ganglion. If it is splanchnicus major, that is why first neuron in spinal ganglion of T5, T9, splanchnicus minor in T10, 11, imus, that is 12 spinal ganglion, 
and lumbaris goes to mm-hmm. upper Sri Lamba spinal ganglions, cleatis. That is one way. And then goes to nuclei proprio substantia gelatinosa like, like heat is. Another way of sensory innovation through ramiciliaci, plexus gastricus posterior, trunce vagalis, then nervus vagus, and where will first neuron? What is a first neuron? What is a ganglion doing? Mm-hmm. Ganglion superior or ganglion inferior of vagus nerve. And second sensory neuron? What is a sensory nucleus of the vagus nerve? Solitarius. Yes, yeah, second neuron, that is nucleus solitarius. That is second way of sensory innervation in abdominal cavity. And third way, third way, from liver goes to nervi phrenico abdominalis, then nervus phrenicus, and nervus phrenicus starts from what? From cervical, cervical plexus, and cervical plexus forms with the help of upper force, that is why first neuron will in spinal ganglion of upper four cervical nerves. Clear it is? And heat is in this diagram, this way. That is tense cranial nerve, nervus vagus, that is tense cranial nerve. Heat is vagus nerve. This ganglion, that is ganglion superior or ganglion inferior of vagus nerve. And heat is second neuron, that is nucleus solitarius. And from nucleus solitarius, the same continues into limniscus medialis, goes to thalamus and brain cortex. Next. If we speak about sensory innervation of larynx, the same one way through vagus, which sensory, uh, which nerves uh, goes to larynx from vagus, nervus laryngeus superior and inferior. Well, from larynx, nervus laryngeus superior and nervus laryngeus inferior continues into nervus laryngeus recurrence, goes to vagus nerve and first sensory neuron in ganglion inferior or superior. In most cases, that is inferior ganglion, inferior. Uh, that is one way. Another way, ner- uh, rami laryngopharyngi goes to superior cervical ganglion, pass through rami interganglionaris, goes to thoracic ganglion, continues into rami communicans albi, and first sensory neuron in spinal ganglion of upper thoracic nerves. Clear it is. And if we speak about pharynx, pharynx, or heat is the same nervi laryngopharyngi like in larynx, the same la- pharynx receive rami pharyngi from vagus nerve, and first neuron in ganglion inferior of vagus nerve, and also pharynx receive sensory fibers from nervus, which cranial nerve gives rami pharyngi, except one. Yes, glossopharyngeal nerve. Have a good diagram of glossopharyngeal nerve, please. Somebody. Okay. That is rami pharyngi. Next, nervus glossa pharyngeus. And what is the first neuron? Ganglion superior or inferior, the same like in vagus nerve. And second sensory neuron, that is nucleus solitarius, the same. That is why heat is, heat is, this, this is not only tense, but the same heat is ninth cranial nerve. Ninth and tense cranial nerves, both of them has ganglion superior or inferior. And both of them has sensory neuron, second sensory neuron in nucleus solitarius. Clear is. And last, is it here trigeminal nerve? All organs on the head you should supply from trigeminal nerve. That is sensory innervation from trigeminal nerve. Okay. For example, that is parotid gland, glandula parotidae. Yeah, from glandular paratide, what is this sensory nerve? Nervus auricula temporalis goes to nervus mandibularis 
and first sensory neuron in trigeminal ganglion. Second sensory neuron, that is nucleus spinalis or nucleus pontinus or nucleus mesencephalicus clitis. If we speak about innervation of sublingual and submandibular gland, we go into uh, through nervus lingualis, then nervus mandibularis, nervus no, ganglion trigeminali, and then sensory nucleus of trigeminal nerve. Nasal cavity, rami nasalis posterioris, ramus ganglionaris, nervus maxillaris, ganglion trigeminali. Lacrimal gland, nervus lacrimalis, nervus ophthalmicus, first neuron, ganglion trigeminal. Eyeball, nervi ciliaris longi and nervi ciliaris brevis with ramus communicans goes to nervus nasus ciliaris and then nervus ophthalmicus and first neuron in ganglion trigeminal, trigeminal ganglion. That is why all sensory innervation on the head through trigeminal nerve. Not necessary to, to pass he on the head, not necessary to pass through uh, this vegetative <coughs> process. Not necessary. Only through trigeminal nerve. Only one place receive innervation, not from trigeminal nerve, but from another nerve. That is dura mater and posterior cranial fossa. In anterior cranial fossa, rami meningi from ophthalmic nerve. In middle cranial fossa, from nervus maxillaris and mandibularis. And here it is first neuron in trigeminal ganglion. And in posterior cranial fossa, dura mater, rami meningi from vagus nerve. And in this case, first neuron in ganglion, superior of vagus nerve. Here it is. And then nucleus solitarius. And here it is. That is, it is fifth cranial nerve, nervus trigeminus, first neuron in ganglion trigeminale, and here it is sensory nucleus of trigeminal nerve, spinalis, or pontinus, or mesencephalicus, and then continues to thalamus and brain cortex. I draw this diagram here it is. <coughs> that is interoceptive analyzer from inner organ, sensory innervation of inner organ. That is spinal cord. Posterior root with ganglion, anterior root, it is spinal nerve. First of all, from receptors, from receptors, goes to spinal nerve. Uh, it may be, uh, if it is sacral, <coughs> sacral nerves, directly into spinal nerves. If it is sympathetic, these nerves, through rami communicans albi, it is clear mm -hmm. from receptors in organs, through rami communicans albi, or directly through spinal nerve, continues to spinal ganglion, and here it is first sensory neuron. And uh, axon of this neuron goes to second neuron in substanza gelatinosa, that is second A, or continues to nuclei mm -hmm. propri, that is second B neuron. If it is nuclear propria, we continue into tractus spina thalamicus lateralis. If it is substantia gelatinosa, we speak about mm, tractus spina thalamicus anterior. And some fibers goes to nucleus fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus. and goes to nucleus gracilis and cuneatus and then tractus bulbotalamicus which continues into limniscus medialis that is here it is second C neuron okay and uh, then here spons that is limniscus medialis then midbrain the same limniscus Medialis goes to lateral nuclei in thalamus. Here it is internal capsule. 
and cortical center, there is no one center in brain cortex. It's maybe gyrus pre-centralis and post-centralis and lobulus parietalis superior everywhere. It is first neuron in brain cortex. The same we speak about first uh, neuron in ganglion superior or ganglion inferior in vagus and uh, glossopharyngeal nerves. Uh, here it is, ninth and tenth, gan ganglion superior or ganglion inferior, and second, what is A, B, C, D, second D neuron in nucleus solitarius, and from here the same goes to luminiscus medialis, and from uh, trigeminal nerve, from trigeminal nerve, first neuron in ganglion trigeminale, and uh, second E, for example, it's maybe nucleus pontinus or nucleus spinalis or nucleus mesencephalicus, and the same continues into lemniscus medialis, said neuron always in thalamus and uh, cortical center in brain cortex. That is diagram of interreceptive analyzer. It is from your from your manual. Any questions? Next time we, sp we will speak about afferent sensory innervation of all inner organs. All inner organs. That is all.